Hey guys, how are we? Well, right behind me here is a um, church. And uh, they say that it is the oldest church in Athens and um, has a lot of Byzantine architecture to it. But what you'll probably see when you see a Greek walk past a church like this is they'll cross their, uh, make a little cross symbol on their chest. Um, they might do it three times, but um, they're usually a fairly religious bunch from my experience. Although that's sort of waning um, nowadays, uh, certainly the older generation is very religious. That's a good thing in one aspect because um, I think what you basically see is um, basically a, um, a fear of God, right? So there's this sense that if you do something wrong, there's going to be some sort of retribution. And um, something that you don't see all that often anymore, um, particularly now that we're entering into a quote unquote postmodern era, uh, there's this sense that uh, you can get away with whatever you want to do. But, uh, but intrinsically, uh, broad brushstrokes, you'll find that um, a lot of the uh, Greeks are fairly honest. Now, in saying that, that doesn't mean that there's no risks being here in uh, Greece. What you'll find is that um, there are a lot of the surrounding um, countries and um, they certainly don't share that sort of uh, pious um, religious belief. Uh, they'll rip you off at a heartbeat. Uh, particularly, you'll see this with taxi drivers, as I said in the past. Um, you'll want to use an app called Beat, B-E-A-T. It's sort of like the uh, Greek version of Uber. And, because uh, I don't have Uber here. Um, so what you'll want to do is uh, just make sure that you've agreed upon a fair price before you um, leave. So for example, from the airport to Athens will cost you 40 euros. Uh, maybe a euro or two more than that based on uh, how much weight you've got in your luggage. Um, they will charge you maybe a euro or two more if you've got a lot of luggage. But uh, all in all, that's sort of the cost that you can expect. Um, we have been, I've been caught uh, by an Albanian uh, guy working here in uh, Greece. I think it was the second time I came to uh, Greece and uh, he charged me 90 euros <laughs> to uh, go from the airport to Athens. And um, which is sort of like, it's just, broad daylight robbery, but what do you do? You get caught in that situation and um, you're in trouble. So um, anyway, so just make sure you agree upon that price. Download the app Beat before you get a taxi. You can um, pay via card if you need to, and with most of them, just make sure that you can, um, or pay by cash. So. Um, that's usually the best way to go. So, um, so yeah, just be mindful of that because that's one of the biggest ways you're going to get ripped off here is um, by taxi drivers who uh, want to rip you off. Yeah, bargaining is uh, sort of par for the course. I hate it. I absolutely despise it. And. Uh, if you're selling anything here, it's sort of expected, oh, what's your best price? Uh, that is my best price. Um, so certainly not Western culture in that aspect because um, I think in uh, Western culture, we don't really like that sort of confrontation. Uh, but here it's sort of expected. So um, just be mindful of that. Um, so yeah, but all in all, uh, really uh, hospitable uh, Greek people. And uh, we went out for dinner last night and had a great time. Um, 
the waitress made all the difference. Very, very welcoming and very um, accommodating, and that's uh, made a really good night out. So, um, so Greece is good in that aspect. You can find some really difficult characters here, but majority, all in all, they're they're pretty hospitable. But just be wary because not everyone here is Greek, as I said. They don't all sh share the same values and um, you could see yourself as a bit of an easy target unwittingly. So just be mindful of that. But um, yeah, Greece is a really good place to have a holiday. Um, not really happy with Greece at the moment in regards to a lot of their uh, policies. Um, very backwards in a lot of ways. Um, particularly even selling properties. We're selling now a property at the moment. We're halfway through that process. Trust me when I say it is a long drawn out process. Um, certainly different from uh, Australia or the UK or sort of Commonwealth countries. The onus is on the seller to make sure all the documentation and due diligence is done. Uh, as opposed to uh, Australia where the buyer has to do the due diligence. But anyway, long drawn out process. So be prepared for that if you're buying and selling in, um, in Greece. And, uh, but certainly, you know, if you're going to uh, have a couple of locations around the world where you're going to um, perhaps even buy, maybe buy a one or two bedroom unit for a cheap price in a nice location, and use that as one of your bases on your perpetual travel. It makes it a lot nicer because it means you don't have to carry your luggage around all the time. And um, you might say have, just as an example, you might have some uh, wet shoes. Like we have wet shoes for when we go to, um, when we go to the Greek islands. And um, the beaches there are, are just pebbles. Uh, there's no sand at all, so you'll want to have some um, some wet shoes. So it's, it's a bit easier on your feet. And um, rather than carry that all around the world, you can just leave some of that stuff, you know, in your uh, in your unit or your house. And uh, you can have certain. Um, uh, equipment that you use in different locations. So say you own a motorbike, you might buy a motorbike or a car, you can just leave that in your location rather than having to catch public transport. So um, I certainly don't recommend that in Greece. Public transport is crap. Um, crap in the, in the sense that um, it can be expensive compared to other places around the world and it's not really that good of experience. I just don't like public transport. But um, yeah, as part of the, um, the concept of what I'm saying about being secure, making sure that you're safe, public transport is one of the worst things you can do for your safety. And um, you know, getting on a bus or a train or a subway that is where most opportunistic crime is going to occur. The other thing about opportunistic crime is that uh, you'll be in a country like Greece, right? It's a developing economy, it's not a developed economy. And um, most opportunistic crimes are going to occur in developing economies uh, because that's where people are looking for opportunities to rob and uh, most people in developed economies are fairly well off they don't need it they're not desperate but uh, if you're going to put yourself in a position of opportunistic crime in a, in a developing economy like Greece or somewhere in Southeast Asia um, or even in South America I know um, one of um, uh, the subscribers, uh, Nick, uh, he leaves a few comments on um, on the channel, and he's in Rio, uh, and he's basically said, "Oh, look, everything you've said for uh, security is uh, really relevant for South America." 
So, um, and you know, South America is a, they, they are developing economies, they're not developed economies. So you're gonna see a lot of opportunistic crime, a lot of organized crime. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's what happens when you have people that are uh, struggling economically. So um, just be mindful of that when you're traveling. If you're in a uh, situation that is a developing economy, you just want to be really cautious. As I said, public transport is one of the worst places you could go. Uh, even catching taxis is not great. So um, you might find a good taxi driver too here in uh, Athens or Greece. Um, get their business card and um, you might use them on multiple occasions, in particular if you're doing a decent trip, tee things up with them before, and uh, most of the time these guys will accommodate you. So, um, but as I said to you in a previous video, you may want to use a limousine or something if you're going to the airport or going for a long drive. It may actually be uh, cheaper. So say you're going from here to uh, Patras, to catch a ferry out to uh, one of the islands or to Italy. Uh, for the price of um, for the price of a taxi, you possibly get a limousine and do it on an hourly rate. Particularly if there's two or three of you, uh, you might as well do it in style rather than uh, slum it in a taxi, right? So that would be my recommendation if I was doing that. Um, it just depends on your budget and how many of you are traveling. So uh, there's smarter ways to do things and it's not always clever to sort of try and save as much money as possible. It's just create a difficult, horrible experience. So anyway, keep that in mind. So just be aware, developing economies, you are far more likely to be um, the victim of opportunistic crime rather than premeditated uh, which is a bit of a different scenario altogether but anyway all right guys so i'm going to leave that there hope you're having a wonderful day if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel do so so um that certainly helps us out and um yeah all right look forward to hearing from you and uh we'll speak to you again soon